okay, but more We're asking the right questions about questions. Also more important so, than they deny them. Number 11 on the review. Um, again, important to note that at time zero, the coffee is 113. Part A, estimate the temperature of the coffee at eight minutes, so after the full eight minutes, by using a left Riemann sum with three sub-intervals. So I'll have three rectangles, that makes sense, with four data points. Show the computations that lead to your answer. So the left sum, the left Riemann sum. So how wide is that first interval? Three. And which value should I use? And then from three to five, how wide is that interval? Two. So be careful. This is one that the intervals aren't equal with. And which value am I supposed to use? 0.7 because it's the left. And then the last interval is 3 and 1.6. Now, once I calculate all that, that tells me that tells me how much it's dropped. That tells me like the total amount T has dropped. But the question was estimate the temperature of the coffee. So you just take the answer and add it or add it or subtract it. Subtract one fifteen minus how much T has dropped. Yeah, so be careful how you word it. If, if all of this you're saying is positive, then you would do 113 minus all of that. If you wanted to make all of that negative because it's dropping, then it would be 113 plus all of that. So the temperature at 8 is approximately... That is roughly analogous to that word problem I mentioned earlier where it's not exactly like one you've done, but it involves a Riemann sum and it explains what to do. Part B, estimate the temperature of the coffee at t equals 8 by using a right Riemann sum with two subintervals. Well, 0 to 4 and 4 to 8, except you don't have data at 4. So would you, yes. do, would you do 3 times 2.7 and then 5 times 0.8? Okay, there are multiple ways to do this, and what you said would be fine. Yes. Zero to five so to I would not ask this question because there's more than one right answer. Because you could either make your rectangles 0 to 3 and 3 to 8. So that would be 3 wide times 2.7 plus 5 wide times 0.8. Or you could make your rectangle 0 to 5 and 5 to 8. So that would be 5 wide times 1.6 plus 3 wide times 0.8. Are these all, these all get the same answer, right? They would not give you the same answer. Oh. Uh, well, they might, but they don't necessarily give you the same answer. Uh, and again, you still need to do 113 minus whichever one of those things you wanted to do. So I wouldn't give that question because I'd have to accept two answers. Could you have the rectangles overlap or do 0 to 3 and 5 to 8 to the side? So but then you'd have a gap between 3 and 5. Yeah, you'd have a gap between 0 and, yeah. Well, what about 0 to 5 and 3 to 8? Um, then you would have too much cooling because you're you're double counting the three to five. Yeah, but it's already an underestimate. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Unless you get into like averaging, but then you're just doing a trapezoid rule over the whole thing. All right, other questions from the review. That's that's the main one I wanted to. That's the main one I wanted to show. I'm happy to do others, but that was the number four. Oh, yes. What does that thing look like? Number four. 
y equals square root of 16 minus x squared. So hopefully you've done enough of them to just recognize that it's semicircle. That's the best way to go. If you don't do it that way, then you have to square both sides because you vaguely remember something along squaring both sides and move things around. And it's a circle, but kind of not a circle because we only want the top half of the circle. Be careful, we want the whole thing, negative 4 to 4. So the area is 1 half pi r squared. And tape stop, right. So again, you have a calculator. I'd rather you even not, not even use the calculator. Because if you use the calculator, then I have to use the calculator to check your answer. And if you just leave it like that, then I know you're right. Although many of you will simplify, and that would be fine. But lots of safe stops on this, just like we did the whole unit. Because when you write out the ream on some, I don't know that we ever added them in here. We just left them, which is fine. It emphasizes what we're doing, adding up rectangles, or maybe trapezoids. Um, where the calculator would help would be like on 1 and 2 if you didn't know what the graph looks like, or 4 for that matter, um, or you needed some function values because you know you can't. A safe stop is not to leave f of 1. So if you wanted to evaluate f of 1, you could use the calculator. Not that f of 1 is that hard for that one. Anything else? 